Time to play with some clay. Well, hello. I'm David Lemon, and I've put together a group of instructional DVDs to help those interested in sculpting in clay. This video you're about to watch is a review of one of those DVDs, Creating a Full Horse and Rider. At the end of the video, I show you purchasing options for this DVD as well as others on my list. Now, let's take a brief look at what's on this DVD, Creating a Full Horse and and rider. Armature, uh, All right, this is a convent, uh, condensed version of uh, this DVD on creating a horse and rider. And I start out <coughs> showing how to make the armature using a drawing of a horse scaled to the uh, scale that you want to uh, make the horse, the, uh, the size. And uh, here I'm mounting it on uh, the base that uh, I'm going to be sculpting on. I designed this to uh, look like it's coming down a hill. Here I am making an appearance at a local uh, shop up in Virginia City, Montana. A friend of mine ran the shop, and uh, she asked me if I'd come up and do this for a day, and I, I did, over, uh, actually for two days. And uh, I started a horse there uh, by creating the skull and, and taking the measurements and all that stuff, and I talk about... Uh, the tail is usually the last the measurements thing put on a and, and I try to uh, show you how to uh, add the muscle to it and all that stuff using, of course, uh, lots of uh, good reference uh, paper and material. Keeping in mind that when an animal moves, uh, this is the, uh, his uh, horse, bone structure uh, moves with it. That you can use to, and uh, I try to show that as well. Uh, muscles and stuff like that of the horse. As well Here as I'm adding the figure. Structure. I'm not uh, actually making an armature. I'm just adding clay, clay just and sizing it the, uh, uh, to fit the horse. You don't want to make the figure too big or too small. And uh, I'm just um, showing you a quick way to add clay to sort of block it in. And here I am just trying to contemplate what I'm going to do with this figure. Um, I've taken the horse and I'm working on it separate. It's a lot easier to set up a temporary uh, jig so that you can uh, work out that as well as the uh, warrior's face and putting on the, the wolf skin headdress. Here I am nearly finished with it. I'm just putting the finishing touches on it. I'm finally starting the tail of the horse. And I also show how to do the uh, mane on the horse. And here it is, finished in bronze, colored, and uh, ready to be shipped to Italy. This is where this one ended up. Let's go to the computer now, and I'll show you. First, you go to my website, uh, where I have all my nine instructional DVDs offered to you for sale, and uh, listed, and uh, a short review of each uh, DVD. It opens up onto this page, Clay to Bronze, and, uh, and uh, you'll see a review of all my uh, current nine uh, instructional DVDs uh, listed here, uh, and each one is uh, linked to a YouTube review video of uh, the items or the uh, subject on each one of the uh, DVDs. And uh, you pick out the one you want, or the ones you want. Uh, you can pick uh, more than one or all of them, but anyway. Then you go over to the upper part of the uh, right column. And there you'll find this drop-down menu. Where you purchase my instructional DVDs. And you just uh, click on the little arrow right here. And that drops down a menu and it shows you the listing of all available uh, DVDs I currently have available for you to purchase. Purchase uh, more than one um, 
that's fine if you want to purchase this one uh, uh, DVD or a set of DVDs. Uh, that's fine too. Uh, there's a there's also available the ability to purchase all of uh, the selected nine uh, DVDs and uh, in one package, and you can save uh, over a hundred dollars in that purchase. So using the drop down menu. You go down until you find one that you want. For instance, for instance, creating a horse's head in clay. You click on it, and then you click on Add to Cart. When you click on the uh, Add to Cart, a page will come up uh, linked to PayPal, your PayPal account. You just uh, make your purchase. If you want to add another one to your cart, you just uh, go down and, uh, for instance, uh, a full figure of a mountain man, uh, click on that, add that to your cart, then it comes up uh, on your PayPal page again, and so now you got two DVDs, and uh, with the total and everything that you pay to uh, PayPal, of course. Alright, I hope that's helpful. I hope uh, you got something from this, and uh, I hope I've uh, perked up your interest in sculpting. It's a wonderful uh, career. It's a wonderful hobby uh, you can make into a career. And uh, it, it, the, the world opens up to you when you, when you can sculpt. And you, eventually at, you'll figure out ways of sculpting better every day. Every time you sculpt something, you'll learn something from the last one you did. And that's, I still learn. I'm doing this for Geez, over 50 years, and I'm still learning. I'm still doing things for the first time. So you, you just have to have patience and uh, know that uh, eventually all this is going to work out fine. All right, um, I'm going to let you go now, and uh, see you next time. Happy sculpting.